What up, Wolfpack? It's your boy Amari, back again with another reaction video. Today we're getting into another BTS crack type video. I just did one of these videos, and you guys seem to really love it. I got a bunch of messages about how these kinds of videos and this kind of content brightens up their day, and they were really thankful for me doing it, and I'm a big softy, so we're doing more of them. Also, they're really fun and very easy on me. I just gotta sit back and laugh and maybe add a joke here or there and for whatever reason, you guys enjoy watching that. So, great, let's do it. I'm signing up for it. If you love my musical analysis breakdown type content, don't worry, we're gonna get into more of that in the very near future. Also, I do a bunch of that stuff on my Patreon. So if you're a patron of mine, you're already not missing out on that kind of content anyway. But yes, that is what we're doing today. I'm very excited. This particular video is called BTS Being a Mess bars and i guess it's celebrating festa eight years whatever it's weird to me that they've now been together for eight years because when i got into them they were like just coming up on seven years and it just made sense there was seven of them seven years map of the soul seven there was a lot of sevens okay it was a bunch of sevens going around now i feel old i feel like a veteran in the army game and i still know like one percent of the memes and the references so hopefully this catches me up some hopefully you guys enjoy this but without further ado we're going to get into this video definitely make sure to like comment subscribe and share and i will see all of you guys on the other side Okay, uh, real quick before we, you know, get into the video, I think the fact that they have personalized jerseys on with their names on the back and their logos on the front is super cool. And I definitely want one of those, even though I'm not a part of a team in any way. I just think that's so cool. The thought of them drinking is so weird to my brain, just that in my head they're all five. Maybe June is like six or seven, but they're they're all babies in my head. And then I'm like, oh, not only are they all older than me, but yeah, technically all of us can drink like in every country on earth. There's different drinking limits. If you're European, you can drink when you're like six. It's a joke, okay? If you're European, calm down. Don't rage in my comment section. Or do, that's good for engagement. Actually, yeah, all of you guys be mad. Type really really angry comments in the comment section. Okay, anyway, yeah, the the idea that they would they would drink is so weird to my brain because I've never seen them drink and I just it's never think about it. I always just picture them as babies, but yeah, these are these are full grown men who can drink and be drunk. Okay. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Referencing, like, what were they? Do I guess it's some some type of festa. The bottom says 2016 third anniversary, but like, what's going on here? To enlighten me, because obviously I was not around for this. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, there is a Santa. He's just also the person who helped you get here. You know, Santa's your dad. That's basically what I'm saying. You're basically just Santa Jr. So, from a different perspective, it's even cooler. Or your parents and society just lied to you for anywhere from 6 to 10 years. And you can be angry about it. I'm not speaking from experience, though. Do you guys neck people in Korea? Is that a thing? For people who don't know what necking is, they're going to be super confused at what I'm saying. But, like, I didn't know that people did that outside of the U.S. So, that's, like, maybe my favorite thing I've learned all year, all all life. That's a... This is a thing? Where did this start? And why is this a universal thing that people do? What's What's going on? This is insane. Like, why... Who's the first person to see the back of somebody's neck and be like, smack? You know, like, it's just, um, 
Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, that probably doesn't matter to any of you, but for me, that's a mind blowing fact that I'm just like, bruh, I don't know what life is anymore. <laughs> He just threw away because he couldn't read it. Dang, dang, rip to that person. <laughs> I know that uh, they do a lot of Japanese stuff, some of which I'm starting to react to on Patreon. So like, I'm starting to get like introduced to that as well. But I think I was told a very, very long time ago that Jimin is really good at Japanese, and I think JK is also good at Japanese. Jimin for sure is good at Japanese. I remember that for a fact. And then one of one other member is also really good at Japanese. So he could have just like handed it to someone else and they could have read it. Also, speaking a language is not the same as reading a language. And then you have to account for handwriting. Okay, maybe none of them could have read it, but rip to that person. Sayonara to your note. That was that was pretty great. Um, this video, I spent more time just trying to figure out what was going on in the little anniversaries and also trying to read the really fast subtitles while trying to figure out what year it was happening in and just being shocked by random things that probably aren't shocking to the rest of you or to normal people who aren't weird like me. But um, hopefully this was still enjoyable for you guys. This was still very enjoyable for me. There was some really funny moments in there uh, and also some confusing moments. So if you saw my very patented, trademarked, confused face, please let me know what's going on. Include the timestamp though, because sometimes you guys be responding to questions that I had and I can't find it in the video where I asked that question. I appreciate the info, I just don't know what you're responding to. So um, let me know. It also helps other people who are reading the comments and seeing your comment to know what you're responding to. So, yeah, thank you guys for being here. I really enjoyed this. Hope you guys really enjoyed this as well. I will be seeing all of my Patreon wolves on Monday, and I'll be seeing the rest of you guys back here on Wednesday of next week. So you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you soon.